Hi, welcome back to Guns.com. Chris Eager in the Guns.com warehouse. More than 6,000 guns looking for a forever home. That's where you come in. <clears throat> now, what we have today is a beautiful uh, Walther PP. Kinda, sorta, not really, but actually, yeah, more than some other Walthers. <clears throat> if you look closely, you'll notice the markings on this gun are a little different. Um, it says 1001. Zero. Now what that is, is that's uh, Pistol 1001, um, <clears throat> it's a particular model used by the uh, East German police. Now the reason why this looks so much like a regular Walther is the original Karl Walther factory in uh, Zella Mellis uh, was captured you know, by the Russians when they went into the eastern part of Germany and Walther had to move. After the war, he was kind of without a home. He lost his East Germany privileges. <clears throat> so they set up a new factory in Ulm in West Germany. So how come you saw West German Walthers uh, for, for years and years, uh, from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s, so on and so forth. And that's where Walther still is today in Ulm. <clears throat> However, they had to leave their old factory behind, all their old tooling, equipment, a lot of uh, spare parts, uh, they made a ton of Walther PP and PPK pistols for the German military in World War II with an AC stamp. Uh, that's their, their factory code was AC, a lowercase AC. So when the Russians came in and then eventually the East German communist government took it over, uh, they renamed it from the Walther uh, factory to the Ernst Thalmann factory, who Thalmann was kind of a hero with the uh, East German commies. Uh, not a lot of other people liked him, but you know that we're not getting into all that. <clears throat> and the uh, Thalman factory eventually started making uh, German pattern uh, AK-47s, AKMs of various sorts. They also had a bunch of tooling and spare parts left over of old Walther PPs and PPKs, and they put it to good use. And they made several of these pistols for a long time. They were pretty standard uh, issue with the German police until they were eventually replaced with a version of the Makarov. Now these guns are almost identical dead ringers for your uh, commercial PPs. <clears throat> the finish isn't as good as you see on commercial PPs but it's better than some of the wartime production and there's usually a mix of parts. Some of them will be new parts that were made on tooling by the East Germans. Some of them were leftover parts that they had bins full of uh, when they inherited the factory. So these guns look and actually are more Walther than later Walthers because when Karl Walther moved to uh, West Germany and started his new factory in Ulm, he didn't have any PPK machinery or anything left. So the PPs and PPKs that were made for the new Walther in West Germany were actually made under contract in France. So in East Germany, they were still making Walthers on the old machinery, while in West Germany, the actual branded Walthers were being made in France. So in a way, these guns were more German than uh, the actual Walthers that were being made at the exact same time. Now, a batch of these were imported to the United States uh, as surplus by Hammarelli in 1985 <clears throat> and they included uh, the police holsters and a lot of them are exceptional quality as far as fit and finish and wear they're not worn out so the debate ensues on whether they were new made for export or they had actually been issued or not either way it's a super cool collectible especially if you're a Walther fan because uh, they tell a great story these uh, grips are kind of unique to these particular models. They use standard Walther magazines. This one has been electro penciled in a European style, as you see by the seven and the nine, to match all the other serial numbers on this gun. Just a really cool piece of history, both World War II history and the Cold War. And stuff like this you can shoot it. It's also an extremely cool collectible. Great conversation piece. 
for these and other great guns, head on over to guns.com.